Now to an eyewitness news investigation, new video and frantic calls to 911 after the death of four year old Noah Quattro last summer. Noah's parents told police the boy drowned in a swimming pool, but according to grand jury testimony just released, the parents staged a scene to derail investigators. Our Miriam Hernandez has the story you're seeing first on Eyewitness News. You have to go fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. The 911 call. Four-year-old Noah Quattro unconscious on the living room floor. His parents telling first responders they had just pulled him from the swimming pool. We brought him upstairs because we were trying to get him. We were trying to think like maybe he, he'll wake up. Where are you at right now? His pit is that way. It where? Right in here. the house. In the house, in the house. yes, in the house. We're in the house. In the living room. Okay, so you're in the living room. And I lay down. Noah's father, Jose Cuatro, reenacting his desperate CPR attempts at their Palmdale apartment on July 5th last year. And I was just like, Noah, Noah, come on, son, please, breathe. Their story soon unraveled. Jose Cuatro and Noah's mother, Ursula Juarez, are charged with the torture and murder of Noah. The case has the Department of Children and Family Services under fire, too. Just eight weeks before Noah's death, a DCFS worker, Susan Johnson, had obtained a judge's order to remove Noah from his home. But Johnson's supervisors intervened. Noah died in a home DCFS itself had deemed high risk. A deputy responding to the 911 call describes how in the hospital, the parents' lies were exposed. He was transported to the hospital, no signs of drowning at all, no water in the lungs, but there's signs of physical and sexual abuse. What doctors and the coroner did find were bruises all over, healing rib fractures, brain swelling, and injuries consistent with sexual assault. Cause of death, asphyxiation, and blunt force trauma. It's looking like there's some sort of uh, like strangulation of some sort and sodomization. Noah and his siblings had been in and out of foster care. Prosecutors allege Jose Cuatro targeted Noah, believing the boy was not his son. That at age two, back with the parents, Noah weighed 17 pounds and could not walk on his own. Noah's mother sent a chilling text message. Almost killed him so many times. I had to do CPR for him to wake up and stay alive, right? A check of security cameras at the pool showed no sign of Noah or his family that day. And about the frantic effort to revive Noah, there's evidence that Noah was unconscious hours before the parents called 911. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.